Welcome to English as a Second Language podcast, number 35. You're listening to English as a Second Language podcast, number 35. I'm Dr. Jeff McQuillan, coming to you from the Center for Educational Development in Los Angeles, California. Visit our website at www.eslpod.com for more information and for the script or text for the first part of today's podcast. Today we are going to talk about working in an office and trying to finish a big project. Listen to this conversation and then we'll come back and talk about it. Let's get started. I was so glad it was Friday afternoon. I've been thinking T-G-I-F all day. I was on my way out of the office when I saw Nick sitting at his desk. Even though the office was nearly empty, he didn't look like he was ready to leave. In fact, he looked like he was still swamped with work. Hi, Nick. You're here late. Yeah. It looks like this may be an all-nighter. I just got a project dumped in my lap. You're kidding. On Friday afternoon? What happened? Well, the person who was put in charge of this project went on maternity leave this week. And the person who was supposed to take it over just resigned. I can't believe that. When is the deadline? I hope you're getting some extra help. The project is due first thing Monday morning. And with the layoffs recently, I think I'm on my own on this one. Why don't you bring me up to speed? Maybe I can help. No, it's Friday. You look like you're about to head home. I can't ask you to do that. I don't have any big plans for tonight. So, I'll tell you what. I'm having some trouble finishing the budget on my proposal. And I know you're a whiz at numbers. Why don't I stay and help you with your project for the next few hours, and you can give me a hand with my budget next week? That's really nice of you. It would be a big relief. I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed and... I know you've done a project like this before. Okay, you've got a deal. Good. Now, let's see what we've got. We heard two people talking about a big project that was due next week. The conversation began with Linda saying that it was Friday afternoon and she had been thinking TGIF all day. TGIF is an informal expression. It means, thank God it's Friday, meaning we're very grateful 
we're very happy that the end of the work week is here. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Linda was on her way out of the office when she saw Nick sitting at his desk. To be on your way out means that you are leaving or you are walking away. Nick said that he was swamped with work. To be swamped with work means to have a lot of work. Literally, to swamp something means to throw water on it like a boat in the ocean and there's a storm, the boat can become swamped, too much water, and it may sink. To be swamped with work means to have too much work. Linda asked Nick why he was there so late, and Nick said it looked like this was going to be an all-nighter. An all-nighter means I'm going to have to stay up all night to finish my work. We sometimes use the verb pull with this expression. I'm going to pull an all-nighter means I'm going to be up all night to study for my exam or to finish my work for the next day. Nick said that he had a project dumped in his lap. To dump something in your lap, your lap is uh, when you sit down, your legs, somebody sits on top of your lap like... Uh, uh, a child would sit on Santa Claus's lap. To have something dumped in your lap, though, means that someone gave you work unexpectedly, that you weren't expecting to do this work, and suddenly someone gives it to you, usually your boss. It's when you are given some situation that you weren't expecting and usually don't want. Linda says, you're kidding. After Nick tells her of this problem, you're kidding literally means you're joking, but it's a very common expression when we are expressing surprise about something. Did you hear my brother won the lottery? You're kidding, meaning that's amazing. Nick says that the person who was put in charge of the project went on maternity leave. To be put in charge of something in a work environment and a business means that you are responsible for it. It's your job. I was put in charge of washing the dishes last night. <laughs> that means it was my job to do that. Usually, though, to put in charge is something we use in a business setting. Maternity leave is when a woman, usually, leaves her job for maybe six months, maybe three months, maybe a year, in order to have a baby. So when a woman becomes pregnant, she can be given maternity leave. It's now possible in many states in the United States to have paternity leave. Paternity leave is for the father to leave work to help his wife. Nick said that the person who was supposed to take it over just resigned. To take over something means to take charge of it, to be responsible for it. To, to take over a project would be, I'm going to take your work and do it myself. To resign means, as you probably know, to quit, to leave. When we use that verb, 
especially for work settings, in formal business settings. I resigned. Although sometimes political re leaders can also resign, especially when they get in trouble. Nick said that the project was due first thing Monday morning. First thing means at the beginning of the day, usually the business day. It's due first thing on Friday means it's due when work begins on Friday. You have to get it done before the beginning of the day on Friday. Nick mentioned that in his company there were many layoffs. A layoff is when the company fires employees. Sometimes we say the company lets them go, meaning they get rid of and have less people working for them. Layoff is also sometimes called downsizing. I was downsized, all one word, downsize, means I was fired from my job. In Britain, in England, they say redundancy. There will be redundancies. In, in uh, British English means some people are going to get fired. Linda asked Nick to bring her up to speed. To bring someone up to speed means to give them the information they need. For example, I arrive late to a meeting and I ask one of my co-workers, someone I work with, please bring me up to speed on what happened. So to bring someone up to speed means to give him information or her information. We also use the expression to fill them in. Fill me in on what happened means tell me, give me the information about what happened. Linda says that she has some trouble finishing the budget on her proposal. A budget is a list of how you are going to spend your money. Usually, again, this is a business expression, a, a work expression. You have a budget. But you can also have a budget for your house, for your home. I have uh, $5 budgeted this week for getting a coffee at the coffee shop. Because coffee is expensive, you know. <laughs> it can cost $5 sometimes to buy a, cup, a cup of coffee in, in many places. So to budget or to have a budget means to have a plan for how you're going to spend your money. A proposal is when you are working on something and you need to get it approved a project, for example. So to have a proposal means something you are asking someone else to say yes on, to agree to. Normally a proposal is a business expression, but we also use the term proposal when a, usually a man asks a woman to marry her. Will you marry me? That's a marriage proposal. Hopefully she says yes. Now, Linda says that Nick is a whiz at numbers. To be a whiz at something means to be very good at, to be one of the best. I'm a whiz at, uh, well, I'm not a whiz at anything, but uh, my wife is a whiz at the computer. She knows how to use the computer very well. Linda offers to give Nick a hand with something. To give someone a hand with means to help them. Could you give me a hand with uh, this box? It's very heavy. 
and I need someone to help me lift it up. To give someone a hand with, and then you followed by the thing that they are going to help you. Give me a hand with teaching my class today. Means help me do that. Nick said that this was a big relief. To be a relief means to have a difficult burden or a difficult problem uh, go away or have someone give you a solution to a problem, a difficult problem. That means that we get some relief. We feel better about a project. Nick says that he's feeling pretty overwhelmed. To feel overwhelmed or to be overwhelmed means to have so much stress and so much anxiety and worry over something that it uh, it doesn't allow you to act normally, to work normally. I'm overwhelmed with work means I have so much work, I can't do anything very well. Nick says after uh, Linda offers to give him a hand, he says, you've got a deal. That's an expression, an informal expression we use, but it can also be used a lo in business settings. When you say, you've got a deal means, okay, I agree to your idea. Usually in a business setting, this means uh, that you agree, for example, to work on a project. Or if you are selling something to someone and you are arguing about the price and finally you agree, the other person may say, you've got a deal, meaning, yes, I will do that or I will buy that. That's going to do it for today's ESL podcast. As always, we invite you to email us. Our address is eslpod at eslpod.com. I'm Jeff McQuillan from Los Angeles, California. We'll see you next time on English as a Second Language podcast. ESL Podcast is produced by the Center for Educational Development in Los Angeles, California. This podcast is copyright 2005.